Fußballstage. What the hell could a four-year-old kid do to piss you off that bad? Did you snap? Did she get in your way? I want everybody in this room to think about this. Imagine a four-year-old little girl. He held her down and burned her twice with a cigarette. I don't know what happened. You were the only one in that room with her. And you ran. There has to be a plausible explanation how a four-year-old little girl got burned. I didn't do this. You told her not to tell her you would kill her. Why don't you just admit what you did? You don't got nothing to say? You wouldn't believe me if I said it anyway. Last year, Dustin and Brittany were shocked when they discovered two cigarette burns on their four-year-old daughter's back. And what was even more shocking was the story this little girl told. She said that her Uncle Dakota shoved her face in a pillow and burned her two times with a cigarette until she passed out. But Brittany and Dustin have not been able to confront Dakota until today. Take a look. A year ago, my brother abused my daughter. He held her down and burned her twice with a cigarette. My mother-in-law, Angie, discovered the two cigarette burns on my daughter's back. First, she wouldn't let us look at her or touch her. She freaked out. And then it took her a minute to tell us that Uncle Cody is the one that did it. She told us that he lit a cigarette and held it in front of her face, and he grabbed her around her face and pulled her down into the pillow and had his arm over the back of her. And she said that she was waving her arms and trying to get up. And she felt the first initial burn. And she says she fell asleep because she doesn't know what passing out means. Sorry. I tried calling him. And the first thing he did was tell me that those were not cigarette burns. My husband, Dustin, and I took Dakota in when he fell on hard times. He tries to turn the whole situation around and make it out to be our fault and say we're framing him, that we're making it all up. In the past, Dakota and I were always together. We were best friends. Our mom worked night shifts and long days, so most of the time it was just me and him. Dakota even has a tattoo for my daughter. They were best friends. She loved him, absolutely adored him. She would pick him over me or her daddy at any time. Now she's scared to even look at his picture. For about a year, my daughter has been having horrible nightmares. In her sleep, she gets up and tries to run, and we have to catch her and put her back in a bed. We have to pull her out from underneath the dining room table because she hides under there and tries to eat. And she piles stuff up in front of the door. She stares out the window all the time and tells us that he's coming back. I just want to say to Dakota that I do so love him because he's my brother, but I'll never be OK with what he did, and I'll never forgive him for what he did. I'm her mother, and I just want her to get the justice and the peace that she deserves. Dakota, why don't we have a chat standing up? Um, um, your niece, just from looking at the pictures that were provided to us, I mean, they certainly look like two cigarette burns, right? Yeah. OK. Um, do you have any explanation how that happened? No, I have no idea actually how it could have happened. You were watching her? Uh, at the time, yes. Uh, I was staying with them because I was having personal troubles. And I was helping take care of her while they were working or whatever. And, uh, I would you know, help put her to bed and everything. Do you smoke cigarettes? Uh, yes, I do. OK. Um, your niece tells your parents, you know, how, how old was she at the time? Uh, four. Four. She tells her parents, like, just a horrifying story. You holding her down, you burning her cigarettes in, in her back, uh, covering her face with a pillow until she passed out. How could a child even make up a story like that? I don't know what to say about it. I, I don't know how she could make it up or if someone's telling her to say these things and convince her that it's true. Uh, when you were watching the child, were you drinking? No. Well, you didn't drink alcohol? No. Did you take any kind of drugs? No. OK. Um, 
if you didn't do it, somebody obviously had to do it. Child couldn't even do that to itself, like trying to burn itself in the back with a cigarette, right? Right. Do you have any idea who did it? Uh, I have no idea who could have done it. The only people in the house at the time were me, her, and her parents. So they were in the house? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, do you smoke in front of the girl? No. Never? Never. Not Does even anybody the else smoke? Uh, not that I know of. You're the only one in the house that smokes cigarettes? Yes. And your sister, she says that you guys were like super, super close. We were. Uh, Until her daughter came yeah, up with two cigarette uh, burns on her back. Our whole life, it was always just me and her. We were inseparable. I came here today because I lost my best friend. I didn't do what they said I did. I don't know what happened. I'm not trying to blame anybody. I just, I want my family back. Let's bring out your sister, Brittany. Dakota, if you didn't do it, why does she tell me that you did it. You held her down. You even waved the cigarette in front of her face before you put it to her. She tells me how she tried to fight you. She hides and yells that you're coming back. She piles up stuff in front of the door because you told her not to tell her you would kill her. You were the only one in that room with her. What the hell could a four-year-old kid do to piss you off that bad? I didn't do this. There has to be a plausible explanation how a four-year-old little girl got burned. What the hell could a four-year-old kid do to piss you off that bad? I didn't do this. She was a four. She cannot fabricate something like that. And she's told too many people the same thing for a solid year. So how do you not know what happened when you were the only one in that room with her? I didn't do it. Yes, I was in the room with her when it supposedly happened. I was in there long enough for her to fall asleep. I watched a movie with her. She fell asleep and I went downstairs. I didn't go back upstairs. You're a liar though. That's my daughter. I'm going to defend her and believe her over you because it's my job as her mother to trust her and believe her. You believe your brother did this? Yes. And it's got to come into a shock because up until that point, he was a, a good uncle, right? And he you was said, the best uncle. And she, she loved him and played with him all the time. Why, why weren't the police called? They were. They're not doing anything. She's obviously got serious injuries. Why wouldn't they do anything? What, what did they say? That Why weren't they going to pursue First, this? First, they told me that they weren't concerned because CPS didn't pick it up. Then they told me they couldn't find him. They haven't done anything for a year. Okay. How's your daughter now after this? Um, my daughter doesn't, she can't stand looking at his pictures when we go to my mom's house. Um, she'll mention him and say that she misses him, but she tells us that she's sorry that he hurt her. Could it have been some kind of accident? Could you have? Fell asleep in the bed, smoking a cigarette, and laid your arm on her back. No, I never smoked in the house. I wasn't allowed to, and I wasn't going to. I'm not going to smoke. Is there any chance he didn't do it? He was the only one in the room. All right, so if he, if he for somehow would pass the lie detector test, would that change your feeling? To a point, kind of, but at but the same time. But you don't think time, he's going to pass, right? Right. Okay. Um, 
your husband Dustin's here, let's bring him out. How could you do this to her? She was four years old. What the hell could a four-year-old kid do to piss you off that bad? Seriously. To hold her down in a pillow and smother her and burn her with a cigarette till she passes out? Are you serious? Your niece that adored, she adored you. You know that she chose you over me and Brittany. But you don't got nothing to say. And you ran. You left all your at our house. I went to work that day. You didn't go to work yes, because I when I tried to contact you, you were sitting at our family's house. I went to work and I got sick. And I went to our family's and then that's when I heard all this supposedly happened. She tried to get me to play video games with her that morning. No, she didn't. Yes, she I did. was there that morning. She went to my room to get me, asked where you were, and then she sat behind the couch in her toy area until you left the house. She never moved out from behind the couch. People do crazy stuff all the time that they shouldn't have done. And unfortunately, I've seen it way too many times. But I think when people, as hard as it might be to tell the truth sometimes, they'd rather hear it from the person than find out from a piece of paper. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think you're guilty. But this might be a chance if you love your sister, if you love your niece, if you care about your brother-in-law to say, this might be the time to say, I made a mistake, it's torn me up for a year, I don't know how to fix this, but I want to, and I'll never hurt my niece again. And I'm gonna give you as much time as you think you need, and I'm gonna step back and just, here's your moment to do the right thing. You know I love her more than anything. And you know I love both of you, even though we may have never seen eye to eye completely. There has to be a plausible explanation how a four-year-old little girl got burned. Why don't you just admit what you did? You don't got nothing to say? You wouldn't believe me if I said it anyway. You are the fact. Get off my stage! There has to be a plausible explanation how a four-year-old little girl got burned. I didn't do this. I gave you a chance. I don't know what these results are, but just listen to the story. What else am I supposed to believe? You're the only one with her. You're the only one who smokes cigarettes. Who else could have done it? It didn't happen by itself. Little girl didn't do it, so two plus two, right? It is obvious. I, I, I don't know why you would do something like that. Now, if you pass this lie detector test, which I don't know what's in here, but for some reason, if you were to pass, I'm gonna eat the paper it was printed on. Um, which I guess has not come out during the course of the show, but Dakota told our producers he believes that you burned the child and that you coached the child to say that it was him. Right. Okay. Um, I don't think that happened, but let's find out. We asked you, Dustin, are you coaching your daughter to say Dakota burned her with a cigarette? You said no. Did you fabricate a story that Dakota burned your daughter with a cigarette? You answered no. Did you ever intentionally burn your daughter? No, you answered no. Results for your lie detector test came back all the same, and it came back that Dustin told the truth. <laughs> you 
Your sister didn't burn her, right? We know that. She, you, you know she didn't. You know why you know? You know well, you know why you know? Because yeah. you did it. But we'll go through the charade for your brother. This is all for him. I gave him a chance to come out and say, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. I want to prepare, but he didn't want to do that. He wants to go through the whole show of, let's see if you did it, let's see if you did it, let's see if you're coaching. Okay, Brittany, you're the mom, and we've got to ask you, are you coaching your daughter to say that Dakota burned her with a cigarette? Did you make this story up? No, you said no. Did you make up a story, fabricate a story that Dakota burned your daughter with a cigarette? Did you go to your daughter and coach her and plead with her to say, to make this story up? No. no. Did you ever intentionally burn your daughter with a cigarette? I don't believe that you burned your daughter with a cigarette. And when we asked you that question, you said no. Guess what your sister's lie detector test came back? She's telling the truth. Oh my God, you're right. She is telling the truth. And you're telling the truth, right? Yes. And then I'm going to have to eat this piece of paper. And I got to admit, I don't like eating paper. But I'm not too worried about it. Because if you didn't burn her, there has to be a plausible ex explanation how a four-year-old little girl got burned. Didn't just happen. I asked you, maybe you fell asleep and accidentally put your cigarette on our back. Did you, and you told me that didn't happen. You didn't smoke in the house. Did you burn her outside? No. Man, what could have happened? It all leads back to one thing, right? Did it. Last chance to tell your sister the truth. Last chance. I just want to know what happened. Did you snap? Did she get in your way? She... I don't know what happened. Oh. Oh, come on. She wants to know what she did to make you that mad. She wants to know what she did wrong. She said that she's sorry that she got burnt. Did you do it? No. Let's find out. Why don't you just admit what you did? You don't got nothing to say? You wouldn't believe me if I said it anyway. Why don't you just admit what you did? You don't got nothing to say? You wouldn't believe me if I said it anyway. We asked Dakota, did you intentionally burn your four-year-old niece? And you answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> that you did not tell the truth. Anybody shocked in here? No. Anybody surprised? No. Anybody feeling like, oh, poor Dakota, maybe he was telling the truth? No. Now, I want everybody in this room to think about this. Can you imagine we're all adults in this room? If somebody took a cigarette and held you down and burned you in the back, how bad that would hurt. Imagine a four-year-old little girl who thinks that my uncle is here to protect me, burning me multiple times on my back. She loves and you. And holding a pillow over her face so she'll, so she'll pass out. Now, I would almost hope that you would tell me, yeah, Steve, I was on heroin that night, or I was on crack, or I was on something. 
I, I, then I, I, I could understand to a certain degree that you, you got whacked out. But to do this sober, when your wits are about you, and you torture a girl. What could she have done? She's a baby. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? <laughs> I try to help you out. That's how you have to repay me. I opened her door to you when nobody else wanted you. You don't got nothing to say? You wouldn't believe me if I said it anyway. Well, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. What is there to believe? The answer's right give there. Give it a shot. Paper. Give it a shot. Fine. The answer's right there. I failed the test. According to it, I did it. Not according to okay. it. Okay. According to you. Fine. I have no personal memory no. of that <laughs> happening. You don't have to believe me. Why don't, why, why don't you black out? You suffer from post-traumatic syndrome? Where, did you serve in the armed forces or something that I've been missing out of this story? What, what, what I, I have no memory? That's no, the answer. I didn't do it, man. and I stick by it because you stick by it. How about, how, about, how about an answer for your sister that says, I don't "All I want to know is why." I don't. Oh, he's running! He's running! Did did your did your niece get a chance to run? Did you give your niece a chance to run? No, you held her down. You put a pillow over her face, right? <gasps> now you're crying. Boo hoo hoo. Your sister's out there crying because now she knows her brother's a monster. I don't understand it. No matter how bad it gets, you want to tear a lifelong relationship apart? No. You want to turn your niece against you for the rest of your life? She's scared of you now? You're lucky, for some reason, that the police ain't locking your ass up. Then maybe you'd be a little more responsive. Maybe you remember a little more if you're sitting in a jail cell. Why don't you just admit what you did? I can't lock you up. I'm not the police anymore. As much as I'd love to lock you up, it's a TV show. When you, when you admit what you did, you get to walk right out that door. We're going to put you on a plane wherever you dragged your ass from. And you go back home. You don't know me the truth. You don't know me nothing, but you certainly owe your sister the truth. <laughs> Bring your sister back one more time. I'm gonna give one last chance, just the sister though. I want you to. I want this sister back here. I'm gonna give you one last chance to make something of this. You got a big opportunity to confess and tell your sister, and maybe go on with your life. You want to keep playing this? I don't remember game you don't want to remember. Here's your brother. I'm giving him one last chance to tell you the truth. Can you please, please just tell me what she did to you? Or why you were mad, why you did it? I took you in and I trusted you with our life. I trusted you in my home. I love you. And I always will, but I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I just want you to tell me why you did it. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know when. I don't know how. Oh, you're such a But liar. I guess I did, and you I'm are sorry. Such a, you guess you did, huh? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here, and I hope you go to jail. Um, an admission, a weak one, but a mission nevertheless. I guess I did it. Well, I, I, I can't imagine what would have set your brother off like that to do something like that. But you need to go back home, and you need to get these police to get involved in this case again. And if you need my help to do it, and we cooperate any way we can with the police department, 
So somebody interrogates this guy and get the truth out of him. You need that to protect your daughter. Your daughter deserves that. And I hope this, this gave you an answer today. You knew the answer before you got here. Now it just gives you another layer of, yes, this, this happened. Keep that guy far, far away. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. I want to know if Melanie drugged our daughter. I've been hearing that she was crushing up Xanax and Valium and giving it to my daughter. Why do you got to lie? Why do you got to take my daughter away? Why? Joe, I've been around why for three these, years. Where why are been? these accusations being Where made in the first place, nowhere. Melanie? You are the cop. Get off my stage. Why do you gotta lie? Why do you gotta take my daughter away? Why? Joe, I've been around why for three these, years. Where why are, are these Where accusations been? being Where made in the first place, Nowhere. Melanie? Joseph is here to find out if his ex, Melanie, has been drugging their three-year-old child. Oh. She is accused of giving her daughter Valium and Xanax to make, oh. to make the child sleep so she can go party. Oh. Melanie denies these allegations and says they were made up out of spite after she kicked Joseph's sister out of her house. And she took a lie detector test to prove her innocence. Take a look. I want to know if Melanie drugged our daughter. Recently, I've been hearing that she was crushing up Xanax and Valium and giving it to my daughter so she could party and do whatever she wanted. I've also heard that Melanie has hit my daughter with a spatula, causing bruising, and has also pulled my daughter down the stairs by her hair. As soon as my sister told me this, I immediately got temporary full custody because I need to do what it takes to protect my daughter as a father. Right now, my daughter is happy and safe with me and my girlfriend, Beatrice. More than anything, I hope I get down to the bottom of this and find out the truth. And if Melanie has been abusing my daughter the way that everyone says that she has been, she will never have contact with my daughter again. Have you ever given your daughter a, a Valium or a Xanax? No. Why is people saying this? Because I got mad at his sister and kicked her out because she was starting a bunch of drama and I didn't want it in my life. I moved away from the drama to better mine and my daughter's life and... They say you're doing this because you want to party. They want to put your daughter to sleep and you want to party. I'm not the one that goes out to the bar every night and drinks. And this would be... Joseph. Joseph or his sister? Joseph. Oh, Joseph, like, but you're not together with Joseph, right? No. When did you guys break up? Um, August of 2010, six oh, months after my daughter was born. I was going to say, the guy's been broken up a long time. Does he help you with the daughter, take care of her? No. In, in, no help at all? No. I've received seven months of child support in three years. Uh, does he come over and visit his daughter? Yeah, right. Well, I'm asking you. No. Okay. No. Um, so... The only time he ever comes around and wants anything to do with our daughter is when he has a new girlfriend and he wants to be super macho dad. Other than that, he don't care. He's dropped off my daughter off at his sister's house numerous times and just leaves. Waits until she falls asleep, takes off, goes out to the bar, parties. And because you kicked out the sister, she, you're saying she made these allegations. Yeah. And he got an emergency order uh, for custody, right? Yes. And when's the last time you saw your daughter? Saturday, October 8th. Oh, so it's been quite a while. <laughs> and you've had her the whole time since Three she's been years. alive? And so this has got to be pretty hard for you. It's crushing me. Like you, and you can't go see her? Can I, the only contact I can have with her is a phone call between... <coughs> Beatrice has to initiate the phone calls. 90% of the time I have to text them and be like, can you please have my daughter call me? And when, when does this get cleared up? When they, there's an investigation now? We have court on the 27th of this month to present our evidence. And so you're hoping then that there might... You Hair fall test came back negative. Oh, Urine so they, they did a test negative. as yeah. far as any drugs in our system. Nothing came up. Do you ever party around your daughter? <laughs> no, I used to. 
I have been two years. I haven't done anything around her. Okay, so you were making some mistakes as a young mom. I was a single mom. I, I didn't have anybody. I didn't have family. I didn't have, I had one friend. And, and other than that, what I made you, what everything. made you stop? My daughter. Oh, you, you, you kind of. I woke up one morning and I looked at her and I'd seen her precious face and I just couldn't put her through the, the anymore. Right. Um, you ever hit your daughter with a spatula? No. Making... That case has been closed for almost a year. So that was investigated too? Yeah. Where did they say you hit your daughter with a spatula? Across the face and across the butt. And then there was no evidence, it was closed. Is everybody else lying or are you lying? Everybody else is lying. Okay. The sister, she couldn't be here, um, but she says, uh, this is a statement uh, she made. Um, I don't remember how it was brought up. Melanie was talking about giving your daughter Valium to get her to go to sleep. Melanie told her daughter that it was time for her nighttime medicine, which she did. About 15 minutes later, Melanie and I were just hanging out talking and the daughter was playing. The daughter was laughing about everything, stumbling all over the place. She seemed out of it. At first, I didn't know what to think. Afterwards, I asked Melanie if she gave her daughter Valium. Melanie smiled and said yes. I asked her, how much did you give her? She said she gave her half a pill. I asked how much was in a pill, and she said 10 milligrams. After this, I didn't say anything to her about it. The daughter slept 14 hours the next day. I told Melanie, check and make sure that she was OK because she wasn't moving. It was so unlike her. Well, Lies. Well, I've got to say this about the sister. If she really believed that you gave her Valium and the daughter was out for 14 hours and wasn't moving, why didn't she do anything? That's what I ask myself every day. Why did she wait? Why did she wait a week and a half to bring it up to her brother if it was true? Um, let's meet your ex, Joseph. How you doing? Good. Why do you gotta lie? Why do you gotta take my daughter away, why, Joe? I've been around why for three these, years. Where why have you been? Why are these accusations being made in the first place, Where have you been? Place, Nowhere. Melanie. Drinking, partying. Did you ever drug your daughter so you can party? She said no. And the results came back that Melanie Did you ever drug your daughter so you can party? She said no. And the results came back that Melanie. So your sister makes these allegations now. You get emergency order, and now your daughter's in your care, right? Yes, sir. Can you imagine a mother who's been raising her daughter her whole life, all of a sudden gets the daughter ripped away from her? Do you believe? I'm asking you, not your sister, not your girlfriend, you. Do you believe that she gave your daughter a Valium? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this situation. You wouldn't be in this situation. Um, and if she passes this lie detector test, you'll have no problem giving her back the custody of the child, right? No, I won't. You won't have a problem? No. Okay. Um, now you have a girlfriend, right? Yes. Beatrice. And how long have you been with her? I've been with her for the last two months. Last two months? Yes. Okay. Why, like, and, and this is what I don't get. She gets to decide, like, when the little girl calls the mom? That was what was established in court. Wait, yeah, but wait, that's wait, kind of crazy, right? Wait, wait, do you want to know why it was established that way in court? Yeah, why? Because I didn't want to have to deal with that <laughs> to be able to talk to my daughter. So we I'd have, rather deal we with somebody girl, I don't know. So you, you want to deal with the girl that, yeah, that yeah. he's known for two months? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's bring her out. Flat out liar. She's a what? First off, all I have to say is you've been with this <laughs> for two months. Stay <laughs> out of my daughter's life. I see her as my own. Really? Really? What do you like? Do you have a job? Wait, 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 Do you have a job? Do you have a job? Listen to me. No, in the two, you three months don't. I've been do you take care of your in kids? In the two, three months but I'm I've been Because I live off of welfare. Shut your up. Shut your because you first don't months, know. First first months. Because you right. don't know you nothing. Talk to me, right? You've been here let for me, two months. Let me ask you, you just said you treat the little girl, you feel like she's your own. Yes. How long have you known her? I've known her for two to three months. Well, no, because you've only been with him two months. 
to the same month. October. And you've only had the girl Beginning for how long? October. We've had her for since November eighth. Yep. Am I correct? And we've yeah. had her before then as well. Okay. For two for a week. Okay, but she's she's not your daughter. She's not my biological daughter. I have three okay. kids. I know what it's like to take care of kids, and, and I so take she, care she of her. What did you tell me when okay. I first on, told on, you on, about what was going on with Joe? Okay. What did you tell me? I know how it is, honey. I've raised three kids on my own, right? I know how it well, is. Well, how to would be you feel if your baby daddy part. took your freaking kids away from you? I haven't seen my daughter in over a month. How would you feel? Okay. Because Tell me you how have three you feel. Kids. Three kids. How would you feel if they come in and snatched your kids up and you were told the only conversation you can have with your kid is over the telephone? All right, uh, Melanie, we're going to find out if you're a despicable human being. Let's do it. Right? If you gave Xanax and Valium to a three year old girl, you're despicable. I, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick you up and throw you over that wall. Okay. Instead of the chair, it's going to be Melanie. At least I'm not much taller than the chair, right? <laughs> you know what? My point is, I believe that you're telling the truth. I believe that Thank you didn't. You. Yeah. <laughs> one by one or the whole thing? Whole thing. Melanie came here, and uh, we asked her <coughs> a lot of questions. <coughs> Have you ever given your daughter Xanax? She said no. Have you ever given your daughter Valium? She said no. Did you ever drug your daughter so you can party? No. no. Have you ever hit your daughter in the face with a spatula? Nope. Have you ever hit your daughter for abuse causing bruising or marks? Nope. She said no. Have you ever physically abused your daughter? No. She said no. And the results came back the same to each one of those questions. And they came back that Melanie Melanie came here and uh, we asked her <coughs> a lot of questions. <coughs> Have you ever given your daughter Xanax? She said no. Have you ever given your daughter Valium? She said no. Did you ever drug your daughter so you can party? No. Have you ever hit your daughter in the face with a spatula? Nope. Have you ever hit your daughter for abuse causing bruising or marks? Nope. She said no. Have you ever physically abused your daughter? No. She said no. And the results came back the same to each one of those questions. And they came back that Melanie told the truth. I, I want to ask the most basic question about this story. Your sister lied, and she's been without her daughter for over a month because your sister lied. I mean, think about that. Your sister <clears throat> lied and got her daughter taken away for no good reason. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. Somebody, and it had anybody, anybody who would lie and their child get taken away based on a lie, and for no uh, good reason. I'd just like to ask you, what would you okay, do? What Jana, would you Jana, do? Get to step in! Get to step in! Bye! Have fun! Nothing against Beatrice, but she's got nothing, nothing to do with this. So you didn't give me an answer. Your daughter, you're moving forward. This was a terrible thing that was done to her by your sister, okay? Now moving forward, she still needs help with raising your daughter. She needs money. She needs help. She probably, you know what? When her birthday does roll around, you should watch your daughter so she can go out and have a drink. Four years, four years, Steve. Four years I haven't been able to do nothing for my birthday. Do you want to know where I was last year for my birthday? In a homeless shelter. In a freaking homeless shelter. Why? Because my baby daddy is I would hate to go through life tied to somebody that I hated and that, you know, I just wanted to fight all the time. Or somebody I said, well, it didn't work out, but you know what? We have a daughter together. Let's, let's be kind to each other for the sake of our daughter. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes. 
All right. Good luck to both of you, and good luck in court. Thank you, Steve. Yeah,